I'm Lucas Robbins. I'm a socially engaged artist and, and creative producer. During this spring residency, I've been looking at soil ecologies and our relationship to, to soil in the UK in the face of the environmental crisis. All of the kind of living, breathing organisms in soil all work together for the good of soil. So mycelium, they kind of work and they branch out, but it's all, it's, it's, there's a oneness underground. And there's, a, there's an exchange of nutrients, there's systems of care, there's, you know, all of these things that we might learn to do better if we kind of tap in and listen to the way that they do things. As an artist, I was focused on the process, and the process is, has been just experimenting. I wanted to look at how we might see underground which is very difficult. A lot of soil scientists and environmental researchers have been really fascinated by the potentials of, of bioacoustics. Through the studio, I've been kind of able to experiment with some tech, like hydrophones and geophones and contact mics, to just listen to what's happening below um, without putting too much of my our humanness onto it. Because I can't see what's going on, I can only assume that, you know, there's vibrations from water going into the tree roots. Could be the weather, could be the human noise. I know that the M32's not far away. There's animal noises above ground and whatever's living in the soil as well. There's a a responsibility there to go, okay, well, how can I use this opportunity to address some of the key kind of social issues that surround environmental narratives? The next stage of this project is to work with young creators in Bristol to kind of go through a period of, of deep thinking and think about how we might shape workshops by using some of the sound experiments, by using storytelling experiments, by using spoken word and also create an audio experience so people can walk through, say Bristol for example, and it's a place where you kind of don't see the saw because it's full of concrete. How can we walk through a city and feel that there is a, a world below the concrete. You know, if we have more opportunities to engage with soil in our city, does that mean that we have greener spaces in our city, which we all need? Does it mean that we have more opportunities to grow food in our city, which we also need? You know, does it mean that our air is cleaner in a city? We all know that's you know what we need. You know, soil is is all of us. If we look after soil, then it will look after us and I think this offers an opportunity for, for everyone to be present um, in these conversations.